new sculpture from the Canadian artist Timothy Schmaltz was blessed and presented in front of the Church of St. Francis in the northern Italian city of Schio on June the 29th on the occasion of the Feast of St. Peter the Apostle, the patron saint of the city. The Vatican Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Parolin, blessed the sculpture that evokes the figure of St. Josephine Bacchita with the objective of raising public awareness to the phenomenon of human trafficking. St. Bacchita is from Schio, Italy. Now that's close to Venice, and I think it is the most ideal location. It's like doing a sculpture of St. Francis for Assisi. And the hope is that this will bring focus and attention to St. Bacchita. Already that area is becoming uh, a pilgrimage site to this saint, and this sculpture I think will bring more people to her. Let the Oppressed Go Free is the title of the sculpture that's inspired by a passage from the Bible from which Smaltz took the name of his work. The day before the presentation of the sculpture in Schio, Timothy Schmaltz met with the Pope and presented his new sculpture. And I knew that he loves St. Paquita and he's so much concerned about human trafficking in the world. So to see him with the small sculpture was just absolutely amazing and to have it blessed was amazing too. In front of the new sculpture, Cardinal Pietro Parolin invited everyone to ask St. Bacchita, who is the patron saint of human trafficking victims, to help liberate us from this slavery. The prelate emphasized how Pope Francis continues to call for greater attention to the indifference with which we see reality, especially that tied to suffering and pain. The sculpture is connected to Angels Unawares, another work created by Schmaltz, which was installed in St. Peter's Square in 2019. In both of the works, the Canadian artist expresses human vulnerability. Angels Unawares, in fact, sheds light on the suffering and lack of protection of migrants, while Let the Oppressed Go Free gives visibility to the problem of the trafficking of human beings.